Why is that listed here as like a perk, something that, you know, should convince you to want to book the aqua class? It's not an upgrade. That's like a, a standard thing for everybody, just like the spacious sitting area with a sofa. They've mentioned this already in this list and there it is again. It's like, it is Sunday, November 7th, 2021. And on this week's edition of Sunday Sofa Time, we're talking about celebrities aqua class. Worth it? Well, hello everybody. I'm glad you're back here. As you know, my most recent cruise on an ocean liner was on the Celebrity Apex. Uh, since then, I have cruised on a much smaller ship, a 17 meter sailing yacht. Those videos, that whole adventure and its somewhat surprising ending are coming up sometime, let's just say before the end of the year. And there were a lot of things that were really special about this cruise on the Apex. Not only was it you know, practically a brand new ship, but they're just, it just was a really great cruise. And I know from your feedback in the comments that you are enjoying the daily vlogs. And I, I don't know if I've talked about it enough in the videos, but we were booked in aqua class. So when you book a celebrity cruise, there are different sort of cabin categories. And if we look at the celebrity website that I pulled up here, you can see they offer inside, ocean view, veranda, concierge class, aqua class and then higher. So celebrity altogether is sort of in the luxury price class. It costs like as much as Disney, as much as some of the other uh, higher end cruise lines. It is not a cruise line for people with a small budget, unfortunately, because we had a really fantastic time. And aqua class is like sort of a, like a category you can book that gives you access to certain things that other people on the ship don't have and that's for an extra price. So I put in the dates for a cruise coming up on the Apex just in December just for the example and what I came up with here just like sort of the base prices listed like on the first page here. A normal infinite veranda starts at 1,255 and aqua class starts at 1,862. So we're talking about two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 600 extra dollars per person for this aqua class status. And what I wanna talk about is, in my opinion, if I think it's worth that much money, and this is something that's gonna be different for everybody, I can just sort of present the facts, tell you how much, how much of it we used, and if I think that I would be willing to pay that again to get what we got. And if you pretend that you're gonna book an aqua class cabin and uh, sort of move on, you get to uh, the following list, which will tell you everything that's in an aqua class stateroom. And as I go through this list, I just have to tell you, it is kind of deceiving. Some of these things are either listed a couple times or they're things that everybody gets anyway. So I'm kind of disappointed with Celebrity for, for setting it up this way, but let's go through the list and I'll talk about them. In Aqua Class Stateroom, it says, sleeps two in a studio with one bath, 243 square feet. Uh, I, I, I don't feel like they're trying to make it sound like that's anything special because the Aqua Class cabins are the same size as the not Aqua Class Infant Veranda Staterooms. A dedicated spa concierge, I'm not really sure what that means because if you go into the spa and there's maybe, you know, two or three people waiting in line in front of you to ask questions or book a, a massage or something like that, it's not like somebody from behind the counter is going to be saying, anybody out there waiting in line in uh, aqua class because then you can come to me. You know, that's not gonna happen. It says floor to ceiling windows and glass doors. Every infinite veranda cabin has that unlimited access to the sea thermal suite. This is something that's very special. Usually if you wanna visit the thermal suite on the Apex, and I just made a video about that a couple days ago, I think I uploaded it on Wednesday. Um, if you wanna visit the thermal suite, you're gonna to have to pay extra for it either in a day pass or a length of the cruise. And the prices I think go up and down depending on the itinerary and stuff like that. So. In this sense, you are getting something very special and it is something we definitely did use. Then it says a veranda with lounge seating. And I guess they're talking about the infinite veranda cabin and they already mentioned that as the first thing, you know, like, I don't know. 
every infinite veranda has this veranda with lounge seating. Complimentary fitness classes. This is something that I'm not sure if everybody is invited to do the fitness classes for free or not. Sorry, I, I couldn't confirm that. I'm so happy to know that there's somebody out there who probably can, so let us all know in the comments below. Like I said, I'm kind of going through this just a little bit quickly because there's a lot of points here, and you know, if I say a little bit about each of them... It's gonna be a long video. And here we have, again, the dedicated spa concierge personal... Sorry, I'm having a problem saying this. Dedicated spa concierge personal consultation. So to fatten up the list here, they're kind of repeating things. Then we have exclusive spa treatment package discounts. Okay, listen to this. I think it was the first or second day of our cruise, we got an invitation for a special tour of the spa. No, it was the first day. It was the day that we boarded the ship. We got a special invitation to come to the spa for only aqua class people. And what we thought was that there was gonna be like a representative from the ship there who was gonna explain to us again everything that's special about being in aqua class. What it was, was a sales pitch from the spa. So we did get a glass of champagne or sparkling wine, which was quite nice, but the guy who was doing it then just started listing certain treatments. As a member of the aqua class, you have uh, access to this hot stone massage, this foot massage, this facial, this manicure, this pedicure. And as he's going through the list, I'm thinking, is this all included in our package? I don't remember that, but nice. And he goes through this long list of like eight or nine treatments. And he said, and usually that costs $1,800, but as an aqua class passenger, you have access to all these treatments for only $890. That's an example of the price. I can't remember the exact price, but it was way too much. It was more than the price of what it would cost to cruise on another cruise ship for a week just to get like five or six or seven treatments in the spa. So the exclusive spa treatment package discounts, I'm gonna say no. Two bottled waters in the room daily. This is also something that I could not confirm if that is just for aqua class or if it is everybody gets that. We definitely did get these cool aluminum bottles of water in the cabin every day, but I know that now with the scheme of the way that celebrity is making their cruise packages, you can get bottled water at the bars and restaurants also included in the price of your cruise. What I just don't know is if everybody gets them delivered to their cabin every day. So that's another thing. If you know that, please let me know in the comments below. In-room fitness amenities, we're gonna get to this in a second, uh, what that is because it's listed later in this list. Uh, welcome bottle of sparkling wine upon request. I wish I had seen this because we didn't get no bottle of sparkling wine. We did get a couple free glasses of champagne in the spa, so. Then we have the complimentary use of umbrella and binoculars. Yeah, there, there were binoculars, brand new binoculars that I think we unpacked for the first time. We found them in the closet, so I don't know if that's in every cabin. If anybody knows, let me know. An umbrella, we didn't see it, didn't need it. Unless, I guess we could have used it to block the sun but it was nice and sunny, no rain on that cruise. Expanded room service breakfast menu, plentiful storage space, and this is another thing, like I said, that's really misleading because as far as I know, the infinite veranda staterooms are the same inside and outside of Aqua Class. Enhanced air filtration system, what does that mean? I mean, how is that like apparent? So we didn't have like some kind of extra filter or aromatherapy thing in our room. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea how that is implemented. An individual safe, which I'm assuming that the other cabins also have a safe and a hair dryer. It says high deck for expansive views. Uh, innovative design merges inside and outside space, but they've already talked about this in the list. This is like the third time that they've sort of mentioned the cabin. But let me say it again. The Aqua Class state rooms are the same state rooms. Now we're coming to a really big plus bonus point, and that is the exclusive access to the Blue Specialty Restaurant. The Blue Specialty Restaurant is like the main dining room for people in Aqua Class and people who are also staying in the suites can visit Blue, and it was fantastic. Somebody's at my door. 
We were totally impressed by the food, totally impressed by our sommelier who had some really good wine recommendations and really took time to figure out what it is we liked and then brought us things that weren't even on the menu to try. Fantastic, really, really great service, great food. The Blue Restaurant is a huge bonus if it's worth, you know, like almost an extra hundred dollars a day. Mm. Let's move on with the list. Then we have a king size cashmere mattress and exhale bedding. And I know from looking uh, at another page on the website, this is also the mattress in all the infinite veranda state rooms. This is something that I would say is definitely not true. I mean, we were on deck 10 and the spa is on deck 14. So I think when there are other ships where they have like spa cabins, which are basically like almost have a private entrance to the spa and on the apex, definitely at least our cabin, not. Then we once again have here priority spa reservations, but what's different than that with the dedicated spa concierge personal consultation and the dedicated spa concierge priority spa reservations, what does that mean? How can you put like a value on that? It says here exclusive welcome reception. Oh, that's the thing that we were invited to in the spa where they just tried to sell us that super expensive package, probably. Two yoga mats, and yes, there were two yoga mats in our cabin. What I don't know, because neither Marcus or I do yoga, <sighs> I don't know if we would have been able to keep those, uh, we don't want them, but I wonder if they're just in the room to use while you're on the cruise, like the bathrobes? Probably. What do you guys think? Then we have your eco-friendly natural ingredient shower amenities. This is something that I do know is different in the aqua class. We did have sort of upgraded soaps and shampoos and stuff like that. Also, the lotion next to the sink that looks like it's gonna be soap, and then you try to wash your hands with it and it's lotion. Plush bathrobes, slippers, and towels. Uh, daily delivery of afternoon savory. So yeah, we did get treats delivered to our cabin every day, which was very nice, which I know doesn't happen in the other cabins. Complimentary shoe shine service. Okay. Option to dine in the main dining room. And this is also, that's so misleading because anybody on the ship can dine in the main dining room if they want to. Why is that listed here as like a perk? Something that, you know, should convince you to want to book the aqua class, it's not an upgrade. That's like a, a standard thing for everybody, just like the spacious sitting area with a sofa. They've mentioned this already in this list and there it is again. It's like, you know, saying the cabin has a window. The cabin has a 12 by 10 window. The cabin has a 12 by 10 window that you can lower and raise. Why? Mini fridge, so yeah, we did have a mini bar which was not included in our package and I'm sure that if it's in the other cabins, it's also not included. And then it says dual voltage, 110, 220 AC USB ports, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that all the cabins have those as well. Let me go back through the list here and point out the things that I think are actually extra value that you get over what a normal cabin is. The unlimited access to the sea thermal suite, a welcome bottle of sparkling wine upon request, the exclusive access to the blue specialty restaurant, and the daily delivery of savories. Those four things are basically what you need to decide for yourself if those are worth spending 600 more dollars per person, at least for this cruise, to receive. I think you might sort of have heard <laughs> over the last 10 minutes through the inflection of my voice and the delivery of the list, how I feel about it. But let me go into it a little bit deeper after this short commercial break. Did you get one? What was it about? Write it in the comments below. I'm so sorry for anybody who freaks out <laughs> by those noises. I'm just trying to be creative. I didn't, those aren't really sounds that came from my body. I added them with special effects. Before I really get into it and tear this list apart, let me just remind everybody that we loved this cruise. We loved cruising with Celebrity. We are new fans. We will definitely cruise with Celebrity again. We would cruise with the Apex again or the Edge. We would cruise in a infinite veranda, stateroom, even though I think we would prefer a standard traditional balcony. Talked about that in that video too. That being said, I don't think I need to book Aqua Class again. For me, 
I think I could take the $600 more per person that it would cost and invest that more wisely in other things on the cruise, like a higher level excursion, like going to one of the specialty restaurants, sushi restaurant, etc. Even though it would be, you know, like a pool of 600, I definitely would not get one of the treatments in the spa because they were ridiculously expensive. I remembered them being 150 for a 50 minute massage, but somebody just wrote in the comments to one of my recent videos that it was over 200. So, um, no, that's not gonna happen. That is a ridiculous price. And as far as the little treats that get delivered to the cabin every afternoon, I kind of feel like, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't need that because we, we ate so much in the buffet for lunch and then at Blue for dinner anyways that these things, they were like, okay, well, they're here. We're gonna have to eat them, but I was never hungry for them. You know what I mean? I personally would not recommend booking Aqua Class for comparing Aqua Class to just normal infinite veranda balcony on the Celebrity Edge or Apex, I would say stick with normal. Don't do Aqua Class. As always, I'm curious to hear from you now that I've broken it down like that. Maybe I've got something wrong. If I did get something wrong, I'm sure people out there are gonna let me know. And if I maybe helped uh, change your mind or help you make a decision about an upcoming cruise, please let me know in the comments below. And speaking of comments, now comes the time on Sunday Sofa Time where I comment on your comments live on air. In last week's Sunday Sofa Time, I shared uh, this really incredible special moment with you where I got to take a tender uh, over to land uh, and I ended up being alone and then I was on the last tender back to the ship in Santorini looking up at this beautiful yeah, city in the clouds, Fira. It was so amazing and it's quickly becoming the best upload of the year for me on the very unofficial travel guides. It's gotten so many views already and because of it also uh, in the last few days since I've uploaded it, I've all of a sudden been selling a lot of those Sea Day t-shirts as well that I've talked about. So uh, yeah, the thumbnail and the way that I sort of changed it to fit what a lot of other people are doing with their thumbnails seems to work. And uh, one person who has mentioned that and a couple other things here is Heather Travels. I'm gonna skip to the middle of Heather's comment here, starting with, I feel like expecting them to bring over a tender boat from land just so you could get a cool view was kind of inconsiderate of the crew and wasteful of fuel. I would have just enjoyed the view from the ship Everything about this story gives me the impression that these last passengers were actually acting a bit entitled and rude. Not that this experience was special. This sounds almost like the tender version of Pier Runners. Just because the ship isn't leaving until a certain time doesn't mean you should wait until the last minute to get back. It's probably just a factor in the overall sailing schedule getting from port to port. The ship crew looks annoyed. Well, I invite people to write whatever you know they'd like to write here in the comments. I very rarely have erased people's comments or blocked people's comments, but I would just like to humbly say, Heather, I disagree with you here. And if I look through the other comments as well, I think a lot of people disagree. I don't feel like we were acting entitled or rude. If it says we're staying in port until I think it was nine and we're on a tender at quarter past eight or 8.30, that's not coming back at the last minute. That's not making anybody wait for us. That's all completely in the time frame that was allowed. Entitled and rude for me would be demanding something extra, like demanding that they take me over past the time that the tenders were running, demanding that they wait for me past the time that we were supposed to be on land. And none of that was the case. I, I didn't ask for anything that wasn't just being offered. Just because I happened to be the last person to do it, I, I don't think that makes me entitled or rude. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. What do you all think? Let me know. Next comment is from Sam O. Sam O writes, we got stuck on Splash Mountain once, which is a water ride at the Disney parks, uh, where we couldn't just hop off the boat onto land and then we had to wait until our boat could be pushed backwards 
to a landing spot. We got to go through a maintenance door and see a bit of the backstage before going through another door back into the park. And what I was saying in last week's Sunday Sofa Time is it felt like because they decided to raise the magic carpet uh, before we got back to the ship and we ended up going through the like a, the old fashioned hall in the side of the ship that it felt like getting to see something that a lot of people don't get to see and that I, I asked for your experiences as well, like at Disney and this is, yeah, an amazing thing being being sort of stuck on Splash Mountain, getting to sit in the boat for an extra long period of time, and then having to have somebody come and push the boat back to a certain place so you could exit. I love that kind of stuff. I, I'm fascinated when that happens. Final comment is one that really put a smile on my face from Lucia M. Lucia writes, wow, beautiful glow on your arm hair. Yeah, I, I noticed that too when I was editing the video together. That just sort of happened. I know some people are really not into a lot of body hair. I have been blessed with a lot of body hair, including on my arms and in that one shot where I was holding the camera to sort of get a, the view of me looking up at the view, the the, the air is going through my hairs and the light is glistening on them. They kind of became the star of the show, wouldn't you say? Thanks everybody, as always, for spending this part of your Sunday or whatever day it is with me. I look forward to being back here in front of the red sofa next week for another video. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>